What's going on, pickleballers? Today's guest is Dean Matt. Dean Matt is the pickleball pilot. He embarked on a world record attempt, the 48-48-48 on May 1st. Dean, it's good to have you on the podcast. Hey, thanks, Tyler. Great to be here. And tell us what exactly was the 48-48-48 and how close did you get? Are you a world record holder? I'm a world record holder? Just ask me, I'll tell you I am. Um, so the 48-48-48 pickleball challenge is 48 pickleball matches or games in 48 states in less than 48 days. In fact, it only took about 26 days. I left out of Sarasota uh, in my in my plane on May 1st uh, and went to, uh, I didn't get to all 48, but I went to 44 of the states and got back here to Sarasota for the last stop on May 26th. So that's what I did in May. So 44 states, and you said it took around 26 days? Yeah, technically it took about uh, 85 flight hours, uh, about 9,000 miles, and 26 days is all it took. So, you know, I started in uh, Sarasota, left at, I think, 7.30 in the morning, and our first stop was Mobile, Alabama, and we went clockwise around the country. And, you know, it's not, it's not something you just hop in the plane and go. There's a lot of planning for that. I wanted to make sure I had a place to stay and people to pick me up and people to play. So it took about six months of, of planning. And that was really fun. It was, it was fun just to reach out and call the uh, Visitors Bureau at states that I've never... Well, I've been to almost all the states except for Idaho and Alaska. And I, I, I knocked out Idaho on this trip. I still have Alaska to do but I would just call up the states and say, hey, can you help me out here working on a world record? And I pick your city in your state to be passing through. And then I would go on to explain that I was going to play a pickleball match in each of the 48 lower, you know, contiguous states. And, you know, I'm not much of a salesman, but it was, I didn't have to be on this trip because every city wanted to be part of this trip. They were, they were tickled. You're, you're doing what? What do you need? This is this is cool. Now the, the cities aren't going to make any money off of it. It's not like having the, the NCAA come to town or anything like that. But it was quirky enough that you know it just put a spotlight on the pickleball. So every city I went to, I would need ground transportation. You know, pick me up from the airport, and typically I wouldn't land at the big airport. Fuel's more expensive there and and whatnot. So. It was probably an extra, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour sometimes out of where the, the big airport was to pick me up. Sometimes a small airport was more convenient. Ground transportation to and from. I would need a place to play. I would need people to play. I need the media to come out to, to you know, document the world record. I mean, the world record attempt was just a, 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 a way to get the media out to really showcase the local pickleball community. The, the new park district courts that were going up, the the private club that you know a guy just you know put up, and and any place in between. So uh, the uh, the visitors bureau welcomed that, and they got right on it. And uh, you know where I stayed overnight, I stayed overnight in twenty five, I guess twenty five nights. I had to stay someplace. Um, you know they filed accommodations for me and my my traveling. Uh, companions as well so and you've said before 44 states in 44 different stories for people that haven't heard that listeners that haven't heard that what exactly does that mean because you you really did so many different things within those 44 states yeah you know everyone asked what your favorite um state was and the, you know there's a few that stick out but every every state i went to was a different story i mean from, from day one uh mobile uh, alabama Played at the second largest tennis complex in the country, the Mobile Tennis Center. I guess second behind Orlando. From there, we went to Baton Rouge and played at the local park district courts. And and there, before the game, I got a personal tour of LSU Stadium. LSU just won the women's basketball, and, and they went on to win the men's baseball. And they're quite a good football team as well. But it was awesome being in this empty stadium, you know, ten stories up, just looking at this. Purple and, and Maze, uh, you know, stadium. So little things like that happened all throughout the trip. From there, we went on to Vicksburg, Mississippi, and we ended up playing with the Speaker of the House, Vicksburg, 
uh, just put in a new tennis complex, a new pickleball complex. I think they have 12 or 14 courts, something like that. And they welcomed me being there and the local media being there to showcase, you know, that they're a destination, you know, they could hold tournaments there. You know, and there were two nice hotels that were built right by the pickleball complex. So that was their story. From there, we went on to Memphis, Tennessee, and we played the, uh, it's kind of like the first tee for golf. You know, the first tee for golf, try to teach us, teach us young got young kids and, and some disadvantaged kids, uh, you know, low income kids and, and, and regular kids as well. Um, sportsmanship and, you know, integrity as, as well as how to play golf. This lady up in, uh, in, uh, Memphis, Tennessee is doing the same thing with her organization called Pickle Mania. Her website is picklemania.org. The quirky thing about her is she, her name is Taylor Taylor. I said, I didn't get a name like Taylor Taylor. She said, well, my first, you know, my first name is Taylor. And then I, uh, went out with a date, his, with a guy whose last name was Taylor. And she said, I don't even know if I want to go on this date because if I ma marry this guy, my name's going to be Taylor Taylor. And, and that's what happened. But that's what Taylor Taylor's doing. She's you know, put a lot of her own money and she's tried to get us a, 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 a kind of a first tee for pickleball. And there's plenty of room for that in the country. Uh, after that, we went on to play Special Olympics with Special Olympics folks up in Jonesboro, Arkansas. And that was actually covered on Fox and Friends. So that was a national story across, across the United States. From there, we went on to play three chicken and pickles and on and on and on and you know I, I got to see the geography change uh, uh you know from 6,000 or 16,000 feet across the United States I've been I've been flying the most of these states before but not in not in one you know 26 day period so for me being a pilot since high school and a pickleball player for the last you know year and a half or so it was just a, uh, a combination of two two passions of mine and what was the most hectic day out of those 26? Do you remember? So you asked about the most hectic, hectic day. I woke up and in fact, I talked to a news reporter from South Dakota the day before and they said, Hey, are you still coming in? I said, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to cancel South Dakota. I get in the plane, I set it up and then I was going to stop for fuel and get, pick up the guy in South Dakota and just, you know, rejoin my trip in, uh, in Des Moines, Iowa. So as I'm, I'm flying, I'm getting quite a big of a, uh, a big tailwind, and I started doing some calculations and what. And I started kicking myself and said, "Why am I going to cancel South Dakota? I could still get that done." So I'm texting my buddy on the ground. I said, "Hey, Ron, call this news guy. Find me a place to find us a place to play um, close to the airport. If we could get this done in two hours, we could still get to Des Moines that night." So I'm barking out all these instructions from 10,000 feet in the air, hoping my texts go through and rods on the ground and he's getting all my texts and, and when we land, he says, Dean, I got it all lined up, you know? So sure enough, he picks me up at the South Dakota airport. Um, he found a place to play a half hour away. It was an indoor facility. They were glad to be there. The, the cameras are, were there waiting for us. The crowd was there waiting for us. So we luckily got that one squeezed in uh, within about a two hour window. And after that, we took off, went on to Des Moines and I never missed uh, another state after that. So that was the most hectic day. That's it was the longest flight. It's the longest single engine flight I ever took too. It took five and a half hours from Salt Lake City to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And, and usually I have to pee after three hours. So. But I didn't drink any coffee that morning, so uh, it was, and I had good tailwind, so uh, we got better. So it was, it was extra hectic. Not only were you dealing with trying to squeeze it in, but you're not drinking coffee in the morning to make sure you could sustain a five and a half hour flight. Hey, that's pretty good. Way to way to make that happen. Yeah, and you know, uh, the flights after that, all you know, from there I went to Des Moines, Des Moines to Rochester, Minnesota, to Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, to Illinois. All those flights after that were about an hour. I think the longest flight I had east of the Mississippi may have been two hours after that. But I could have my little cup of coffee in the morning and not really you know, worry about it too much. But uh, like I said, we were on track every every stop after that. Right on. And 
you go into 44 states, you've seen just about, you've seen so many pickleball facilities for pickleball tourists out there that like to travel to different areas. Do you have a top three or top five places that you recommend them to travel to, to play? Well, I'll tell you, there were some nice complexes. Uh, if, if you're just, uh, you know, if you're not going to a private country club, I mean, I went to a lot of private country clubs. I went to five-star resorts like the Greenbrier and White Sulphur Springs that rolled out the red carpet. They have a beautiful tennis center there where the USTA used to play. And we played right there on center court. Uh, so, so those places were nice. But there are some very nice complexes. I'll just rattle off a few out in Albuquerque. Uh, the, I think it's called the Manzano Mesa Pickleball Complex. Just beautiful, you know, mountains in the background. There, a big crowd was out there, cameras were out there, and I got to play with the mayor of, uh, of Albuquerque. That's a nice place to play. Uh, another place on the complete east side of the, of the country, out in Maine, uh, I played out on what they call the Eastern Promenade. So it's right on the Atlantic Ocean, basically, and it's a nice tennis, uh, I'm sorry, pickleball, dedicated court complex out there. Actually, it wasn't dedicated. Uh, but beautiful view of the bay and the Atlantic Ocean. That kind of stuck out to me as well. Um, Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, has a, which is right outside of Madison, uh, was was fun for, for me. I'll tell you why in a second. But they, they have a very nice complex out there. They have a very robust pickleball community. We got to play with Dave the Badger Weinbach. With no. He was, was a pickleball pro and just a lot of fun. Uh, they had, they, when we got there, they were playing polka music and, and they were cooking bratwurst and it was a good Wisconsin, you know, feeling, uh, being there. So that was just a heck of a lot of fun at that place as well. And before I let you go, you know, as well as I do, Dean, that records, everyone says they're meant to be broken. So do you think your record will be broken? How long would it take? Is, is it, you think it's easy to do or they're going to have some difficulty doing that? You're welcome. Anyone's welcome to do it. It's a self-proclaimed world record. I did 44 states and played a pick off 44 states in in 26 days. Uh, you may be able to do that in a, in an airplane. You may be able to do it driving. I know there's a there's a couple that are driving around. Uh, they're going to play pick a ball in all 50 states. I don't think they're in any hurry to do that. I don't know if that's going to be some type of a record. But it is kind of neat because you know, I look at the pros and they, they they tend to play in you know four or five states, you know Texas, Florida, and California, and you know a minimum. But but I've done something that you know very few people have done. Not only see uh, the, uh, all forty states, uh, but doing it in a, in a compressed time frame, twenty six day. You know, um, they're welcome to do it. It's some planning i'm sure you you could do it i i don't know why you would want to do it uh, it was something to do um i had great sponsors and you know I, we did a good job for our sponsors because we did have the cameras out at all of our stops and and uh, the crowds are out as well and it was just a, a fun event something fun for everyone to be a part of whether you were the guy providing the court whether you played against us you know we played as firemen up in the uh, Eagle, Idaho, we played against a uh, guy in a, a wheelchair, I think his name's Kevin Ben, I mean, getting his last name wrong, but he used to play uh, tennis in a wheelchair, and when you play in a wheelchair, you get two bounces, and uh, this was the first time he played pickleball, and I think he liked pickleball a little bit easier, it's just a little bit more, uh, less ground for him to cover. I tried to take advantage of the two bounce rule. They wouldn't would let me do it, but uh, him and him and me beat my wife, who was up there with me at the time, and the uh, mayor of Eagle, Idaho, uh, who that was, I think, his first game as as well. So just meeting all these people along along the route was was a lot. Of fun. That's awesome. All right, so let's wrap this up. Where can people find you if they want to look more into more into your travels what you did where can people find you and how can they stay updated on anything you got in the future yep so it's very easy uh there's a website it's uh mucho dean 
my name dash arrow like aeronautical.com so it's m-u-c-h-o dash d-e-a-n dash a-e-r-o dot com uh, from there you you'll see tabs the pickleball challenge tells all about the trip it shows all the cities the dates we were there the routing the states we missed all of our sponsors it's got all of the venues we played at you can click on any one of those if you want to learn more about any of the venues there's also a tab called media coverage and there's 40 you know 50 different uh, uh stories that were done about us through the local media and national media in each of the cities that we were at um and uh they could learn more about us well, i'm sure i got my contact information on there as well so you know drop the line if you want me and my wife to stop by in your pickleball community give, give us a buzz we're always a good, something to do we love it i'm by see anybody cool well dean matt everyone the pickleball pilot in world record holder thanks for coming on to the show thanks tyler congrats on your on your show here cool thank you